The love bombing that an avoidant does makes the breakup, the discard, all that much more painful. They came on strong. There was a deep connection. It felt like nothing you had ever experienced before. This person was all into you. There was passion, there was fire, there was romance. It was everything you ever dreamed of. And this person was delivering it. And they may have even promised you a future, a life together. They may have made future plans with you, vacations, even talked about family, even talked about commitment. And then one day, as things are going well, the avoidant pulls away and they say, I can't give you what you need. I just need time and space to be alone. I'm just not ready for a relationship. Work is so stressful right now. I need to focus on that. You deserve to be loved by someone that can love you the way you deserve to be loved. And the vague excuses go on and on. And just like that, they are gone. The hot and heavy love bombing really sucks you in. And it's so intense and it's so powerful. It's like a drug. It is giving you that dopamine, that oxytocin, a kind of validation that you've probably never even experienced before yourself. And then during the extended honeymoon phase, it's just ripped away from you, just ripped away from you. Nobody expects to be discarded in an extended honeymoon phase. Nobody expects it. It is absolutely blindsiding. So the love bombing, is so incredibly unfair to the person that's being discarded because it captures them in such a manipulative way. Now, the avoidant likely is not trying to manipulate you. There are tons of bottled up suppressed emotions that they have suppressed throughout their lives. And when the dopamine is flowing, it's all coming to the surface. All these bottled up emotions are coming out and they just pour it on you, hot and heavy like a romance movie, like a romance novel, like a love story. And they get swept up away in it too. But deep down, the majority, not all, but the majority of avoidance know that they have a self-sabotage history when it comes to relationships. They know they have a tendency to shut down and pull away. They know they do this, but they still go out and seek that validation. They still go out and love bomb. They still choose to do it without working on themselves. That need for validation, those insecurities are so deep in them that they choose to go out and do this, knowing fully well that there's a good chance they're gonna hurt this person. That's why it's inherently selfish and self-absorbed because they're only thinking about themselves from start to finish. They're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about the, the impact it's going to have on you. They're not thinking about the emotional damage and the absolute crushing blow to your self-esteem that they're about to cause by discarding you. They're not thinking of that. And they're certainly not thinking of it when they do the discard. The avoidant is thinking of themselves and themselves only. They're thinking of their own feelings, their own fears, whatever it is that they perceive that they want in the moment. That's why it is an inherently selfish and self-absorbed choice of behavior. And yes, it is a choice because nobody is forcing the avoidant to discard you. Nobody forces them to break your heart like that. Nobody forces them to love bomb you like that. They could recognize that they have a tendency to self-sabotage, work on themselves and heal before they enter a new relationship, but they choose not to. They could choose to work on their attachment wounds with their partner and stay in the relationship rather than hurt somebody but they choose not to. So severe avoidant behavior, especially the discards and the love bombing, is selfish and self-absorbed behavior. Now, these people are capable of healing and becoming better partners. They are 1000% capable, but they have to choose it. They have to want it. Just like an alcoholic. If an alcoholic wants to become sober, they can do it. But if they don't wanna become sober, if they don't wanna do the work, if they don't wanna stop drinking, they're gonna stay drunk. Same thing with an avoidant. If they want to heal and become secure, they can do it. But if they don't want to do the work, if they don't want to do the difficult self-reflection, they're not going to do it. It's entirely up to them. But in the meantime, if they continue to do that behavior, it's very selfish and it hurts a lot of people and it breaks a lot of hearts.